What's going on everybody? This is Martian here and today we are going to be doing a Photoshop tutorial for you guys. We will be doing a quick walkthrough of how to make Twitch panels for your Twitch stream. Um, basically Twitch panels, you probably already know what they are, but they're the little panels underneath your broadcast that say subscribe, donate, etc. Um, if you have good, bright, visually appealing Twitch panels, it'll cause more traffic, it'll cause people to go to your social media outlets and so on and so forth. Um, so it's good to have. Um, they're good to know to make because you can I mean you can go out to the internet and pay someone 20 or 30 bucks for a set of them, but I'm about to show you how to make a basic one in under 10 minutes and um, you can change it to whatever whichever type of panel you need or anything like that. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna be doing this tutorial on Photoshop CC 2018. Um, any of the, I think 17 is about the same as far as you know what buttons to press and everything like that. Um, but here's what we're gonna end up with. Here's our finished product. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit uh, something to the text too when we make the new one, just to kind of get the text a little pop. But as you can see, we have some nice, ba um, we have a nice background, we have a nice border, we have our nice visuals um, into the background to kind of make it pop a little bit more, just so it's not plain. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. So we're going to go to a new canvas. Um, I already have this preset in here, but basically, I'm going to change that actually. So just name this Twitch panel, so that way if you ever want to go back and make some new ones. Um, so boom. So there we go, I've got to save. So. On the width and the height, I like to make the image a little bit bigger than what is necessarily required um, through Twitch. And by what I mean by saying that is I like to make the width and the height a little bit bigger so that way when you upload the image, it scales it down a bit and it makes it look real sharp. It doesn't make it look blurry or pixely or anything like that. Um, so you're going to want to set your width to 640, your height to 150. It's going to leave the resolution um, default. Make sure your color is default on RGB. Um, instead of 8, we're going to go to 16-bit color. And then here, um, we're going to make the background light blue because that's going to be our border. Um, you don't have to make your panels with the border. Um, it's just this certain one I'm going to make, I'm going to make with the border. If you are going to make them with the border, um, this is where you need to pick your color scheme and see what color you want for your text and your border and your logo. Um, so we're just going to go with a light blue, kind of dark blue theme like you saw before. So we're going to create that. So that gives us our nice our nice canvas to work with. Um, so our first our first step here is we're going to draw a rectangle with a deep blue color. Um, that gives you your main background. So you're going to go over here to your rectangle tool. You want to make sure your fill set to color, not no fill. So set it to color. We're going to go with our dark blue color here. Um, on the stroke, also make sure that is set to color. Make sure that is the same color as what you're going to fill. So it just makes one one filled rectangle and then the um, thickness doesn't really matter with this because we're going to be um, we're going to be dropping or dropping we're going to be drawing a filled rectangle um, so we're not going to be drawing a hollow rectangle so make sure that's all set and then usually by default photoshop has the rectangle tool set to draw from center and by what i mean from that is if i drew if i started right here and i started dragging out this way it's going to keep that rectangle center in the panel it's going to draw it drag it out you just, so you just want to go to your settings. This will be checked, but you want to say not from center. So you want to uncheck that. So everything is good. So we're going to draw a rectangle. So you, you just need to decide how thick you want your border. We're going to make this one pretty thick. So just kind of go from here to here. And then this Photoshop and uh, you know a lot of the other Photoshops have these grid lines that'll tell you that it's a square or that it's you know the right dimensions and everything. So we're going to do that. And that gives you your um, your nice clean border here. Um, I kind of like the border; it gives it a little bit more pop and everything. Um, and so our next step is going to be to kind of give the background a little bit more pop, make it a little more visually appealing. Um, so just some simple things you can do is kind of what I'm going to do here. Um, first, actually, I forgot we need to rasterize that rectangle so we can edit it and do some effects on it. Um, I just like to get a brush and I like to kind of set it at like the uh, the soft brush and I like to turn the hardness all the way down. Um, and what that's going to do is it's going to give us just a nice kind of thin white lighting effect. Um, so you want to make sure your foreground color is set to white. Do that. 
And then our mixture opacity is anywhere from like 15 to 20. It just depends on how light and how dark you want the effect to be. And also this is going to be how far out you want the effect to come. So we're just going to do a little light effect over here. Just kind of like that. Just gives the background a little color change. Gives it a little bit more pop. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to make that just a tad bit darker. We're going to make that. We're going to tame that to 25. So we're going to do that again. So that gives you a nice little effect over here. Um, so there's that. So now we need to add a new layer. Um, this is going to be our effects on the left side. So we're going to do left effect layer. Um, and to get the curves like I did here, you need to use your pen tool. Um, so we're going to go back over here. We're going to use our pen tool. And we're going to start from just a... Uh, we'll start from the corner. We'll start from the corner. You want to draw all the way down here. Um, so this gives you your line to start and then to get the curve effect you want to draw or you want to drag your line anchor Whichever way you want we're gonna do this way to give it a nice just curved effect like we did in the last one um, So we're not gonna do that drastic of a one we're just gonna do right there So that gives you a nice curved effect right there and um, to get it to fill like I did you just need to close the workspace here um, you're gonna right click in here inside the uh, the canvas and inside your anchor points you want to go to fill path um, so as you can tell from over here we did kind of a, a darker effect to a lighter effect so we're gonna do an opacity of 20 for this one and the next one we're gonna do an opacity of 10 so make sure you fill that with 20 that's gonna fill so now you just right click in in your work path delete path so there's a nice first effect right there. Um, now, simply to do the second one, you're just gonna go kind of a little bit to the right over here. I'm gonna go over here and then just, oh, don't wanna do that. And then same thing, drag this line um, to kind of match the curve that you did on the first one. And that, that's pretty close, so we're gonna drop it right there. Then we're gonna go ahead and fill this all the way in, make sure it encompasses the whole, the whole side right here. Then you're going to want to fill that, and then we're going to go to an opacity of 10. And also, when this overlaps with this layer, it'll give it a little bit more pop too. So just press OK. And there's that, and you want to delete your path. And boom, there's your there's your kind of lighting effect on the right, or on the left, excuse me. Um, you can mess with this however you want. You can do however many layers you want. Um, this just gives your background a little bit more pop. It gives it so it's not so plain and everything like that. Um, so there's all of our effects for the background. Now we are going to um, add our icon and text and then your panel will be completely done. So for our icon, I've already got my Twitch icon over here. I've already got it selected. Um, so we're going to drag it over here. Make sure you drop it and scale it down to the size you want. Um, we're just going to make this one kind of big. Um, you can kind of, if you want to make them smaller, you can make them smaller. We're going to make this one kind of big. And then just drag that until it lines it up in the center for you. Um, so now, now that our logo is in place, we need to make it the same color as our border and our text. Um, so we're going to go over here to our paint bucket tool. Do that. And so we're going to make sure our blue, our light blue, is in the foreground color. And then we're just going to select that logo and fill it in. Oh. There we go. So now you have your logo. It's the same color as your background. It, um, it's make sure it's centered. Um, you can either do it on the right or left. It's your preference. Um, we're just going to do it on the very left here. We're going to add our text on the right. Um, so now the only thing left we have to do is draw our text box. We're going to draw our text over here. And make sure your foreground color is set to the same color as the logo. And we're just going to make this one donate. So make sure that says donate. We're going to make sure it's in the center. And then there's your text. Uh, make sure it's lined up. You can use these grid lines to help it to help you line it up and then just line it up in the center like so and Like I said, we're gonna add a little um, Effect to the text. So just go ahead and make sure that layer is selected double click to go to your layer styles um, We're gonna add a bit of a drop shadow We're not gonna add that dark a one, but we're gonna add a little bit of a drop shadow right there That gives it a little bit more pop and then we're also gonna add just a tad bit of gradient um, so as you can see my gradient is a white to black and you can change the opacity um, Just a hair just so it kind of makes that text pop a little bit like so uh, You can go all the way to the silver and black if you want to I'm just want to keep the same color scheme So I'm just gonna go like that give it a kind of a 
a gradient look, and there you go. There is your nice and complete Twitch panel. And all you have to do is go File, Save As, and save it as a template. And then all you have to do um, for your in other individual Twitch panels is, um, is change the text to the required panel you need. Um, so there you go, guys. There's a basic Twitch panel. Um, like I said, you can make you know make changes to the lighting, to the effects in the background, the text, what so on, so forth. Um, if you guys are interested, I am like I'm open for making Twitch panels. Um, just drop a comment below with maybe your email um, or shoot me a message. Um, I'll, I can make a whole package. I can do themed panels. I can do game theme panels. Um, I can also do other overlays, webcam, so on and so forth. So if you're interested, just drop a drop a comment down with your email so I can email you. Um, and guys, let's just go ahead and try to get this video to 50 likes. Um, that would be awesome. Um, so if you like the video, go ahead and drop a like. And please stay tuned for more Photoshop tutorials. I'll be doing um, mostly geared toward Twitch tutorials, um, but you know, other themes and whatnot um, with Photoshop, but um, I'll be doing a lot of short tutorials to kind of help you out um, as far as saving money on graphics on the internet goes. Um, so thank you guys. I hope everybody has a great day and stay tuned. Baby, se non in late, le scunde mo si pom, ever they trade, sana fondro in tomo no con i nieti, poi ostiamo a mo io va se kate, late is short, it's a